Hi, I am Sebastian from Privado de and today I'd like to show you how our new web wallet massively simplifies the user experience. To do that, we're going to use the Linea campaign that we launched recently, where users can prove their uniqueness to directly to a smart contract. There is a lot of things going on. I'll try to explain step by step. For the user, it's super simple, right? But the technology behind is, is quite unique. First of all, the application will present the user with a simple question, right? Please verify something. In this case, verify your uniqueness. That's simple, but it contains a lot of logic. It contains the query, right? Which credential the user is expected to present. It also contains uh, which issuer, which uh, company should be used in the case of the where, where the user doesn't have the credential and needs to claim it. And also where the proof needs to be presented in, the, in this case to an smart contract. So let's click verify and we are redirected to the new Privado Web Wallet. In the Privado Web Wallet, first thing you can see is what we are being asked. We are being asked to present a proof of uniqueness of a certain type, right? And we can sign in. There is no sign up. There is no downloads, there are no installs. Even if this is the first time I'm seeing Privado, I have never interfaced with an identity wallet. I just need to sign in with my crypto wallet. Just by signing this message, we are creating an identity wallet on the fly. So what is happening right now is we are creating keys to encrypt the storage. We are creating your decentralized identifier and everything that is associated to your identity wallet. So here it is. We have zero credentials. We haven't collected anything. This is the first time I'm, I'm using this. And we have a decentralized identifier that will be attached to this Ethereum address. So I don't have the credential but the verifier already said which is the company that should provide it. So we are presenting here about to claim the credential and this will take us to the issuance process. Everything inside the same interface, everything inside the same flow. So for the user, this is very seamless. Load here is the interface of the provider. In this case, it's a company called Synapse that is providing biometric proof of uniqueness. So as a user, I go through the process, right? What I'm doing here right now is to accept the terms, the privacy policy of the issuer of the credentials, and I accepting to scan my face. Okay, after I scan my face, the provider has checked that I'm human. I can continue. And what is happening now is the credential is being sent to my identity wallet. But before that, I need to pay, right? It's not a free credential. So the user has to pay a fee for the credential. And the web wallet is also taking care of the payment rails. So this is not managed by the issuer. Uh, that way we keep the privacy, right? Between, between all parties and it's part of the user experience as well. I can pay this transaction with crypto. And now I have my credential in my wallet. So you can see I have one credential. It's been claimed, it's been paid, right? So it's mine, it's in my identity wallet now. So I can finally verify the original query. But remember, this query have to be presented to a smart contract. So I'm not presenting a proof to the application, but to the smart contract. We will generate a zero knowledge proof. So we don't share any personal data on chain, of course. Uh, the zero knowledge proof is generated on the browser, right? So no information is sent to the servers. As we said before, only the user has access to the information in the credential. So now the proof is generated and I'm sending the proof to the smart contract. So basically I just need to pay the gas to confirm the transaction. And I have completed my verification. I can see that in the Explorer. I can see that the smart contract received the proof and I am now in the Verax registry. And my Ethereum address is in the, in the registry as a verified unique human being. So this is my transaction. 
you can see there's nothing, no personal data or anything. It's just uh, zero knowledge proof sent to the smart contract. And that is it. We have just verified on chain uh, through the web wallet with zero installations, zero downloads, everything, all the experience was embedded. The payment was embedded, right? And the proof was, the zero knowledge proof was generated in the browser and presented to the smart contract. Well, this is a new experience for private ID and we expect to uh, integrate in lots of applications. So if you have a similar use case, please contact us. Thank you.